Hey guys, today we're installing the GNOME desktop on Linux Mint, and yes, this does work. So first, we're gonna go to the Software Manager, search for GNOME. So now, you could do this on the command line with apt if you prefer it that way. We're doing it with the Software Manager today just to make it super simple and easy because it's Linux Mint, and that's how we do things on Linux Mint. So click on GNOME. There are a few different options. The one just called GNOME, and it's it, the description says full GNOME desktop environment with extra components. So we're gonna do this one today. So we're gonna go ahead and hit install, continue, it's going to prompt us for a password type in our password and it's going to go ahead and install it for us sped the installation part up a little bit here it takes a little bit more time now here it's asking us do we want to stick with light dm as our as our greeter or switch to gdm so we could switch to gnomes gdm but we're going to stay with light light dm just because uh you, you know, I, I want to keep things the same. I just want the GNOME desktop to be there as an option, but I want everything else to stay default, normal Linux Mint, right? So you can go, we logged out and then we're going to log in, select GNOME as our, our desktop, type our password in, log right back in here. And there we go. Brings us up with the normal getting started thing that has been prompting me every time. I'm going to say, don't display that anymore. Now, new thing it gives me is a little thing to initialize gnome uh, next thing we're just basically going to poke around in here uh, basically look at how it displays applications and stuff you see we have the gnome app store there uh, we, we got um, our file manager nice pretty looking icons here basically i'm just going to show you some of the apps and and you know what's on here and how, how things can be tiled and stuff like that so got LibreOffice works all normal you got two desktops by default let's pop open a terminal here see how this looks so yeah there we are with the terminal got a few other things we're going to be running let's try firefox right and to drag it down to our bar here works as we normally would expect with gnome this is probably beyond you know if, if you know you want gnome this is what gnome looks like we're just showing you what gnome looks like at this point we've already got it installed and working may as well just poke around and you know kind of kick the tires and stuff so you know this is how we have uh two apps here we can slide them to the side like that not too different from the cinnamon desktop but yeah, there you go. Two two apps side by side, docked to the side of the screen. Um, nice smooth operation. I uh, you know, if I didn't know any better, I'd think I'm on like a, a like a an Ubuntu desktop or something. So it basically works the same. You know, it's GNOME. It's going to work the same regardless of distro. So, um, you know, it looks a little bit different. Like some of the highlights, I think, are are different just because it's Mint. But yeah, there you go. This is a GNOME on a Linux Mint desktop which is, uh, I mean, it's nice if that's what you want, almost defeats a big part of running Linux Mint. I mean, there's more to it. It's not just about having the Cinnamon desktop and the distro that invented the Cinnamon desktop. It's also about, you know, the package manager and stuff. So if you like, uh, you know, not having snaps and having this, this uh, you know, Linux Mint package manager, but you want the GNOME desktop and, and, and you know, like Mate, like Mate and uh, Cinnamon just don't do it for you, then this might be a valid option. So uh, yeah, this is GNOME on the Linux Mint desktop for whatever it's worth. We're gonna log out here and show you how you can log right back into Cinnamon. So you can actually have one foot in each world. So here we are logging right back in here to our Cinnamon desktop. Gonna take just a second here and almost there. There we go. Cinnamon. There's Cinnamon. So we have both running in parallel. You can install a bunch of different desktops if you want and switch between them. No need to tie yourself down to one desktop. But there you go. If you found this interesting, give me a thumbs up. Might want to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on our other great videos. We do a lot more stuff. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.